Well, hello, soul family, beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Hmm. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our Daily Chakra Energy Reading, and today is uh, Tuesday, <laughs> terrific Tuesday. Um, Tuesday, September 17th of 2024. So happy Tuesday to all of you. I hope you are all doing so very well. All of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear this message. So use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you. All right, so today is the full moon in Pisces. So Virgo and Pisces are counterpart signs. So since we are in Virgo season, it is the Pisces full moon. And um, I should, I'll look up the other videos that I did on the full moon and also the one about September because... So, you know, the book that I, you know, read from usually, or, you know, we already read the book, but the Moon Energy book that I read, um, it talks about how September is the month of the balancing of forces. So, the full moon in September, so like just the energy of September, the full moon represents the balance, which is the masculine and feminine energies within us and so it's about us coming into balance with our own yin and yang energies but the full moon in Pisces specifically is about you know like the dream like our dreams and paying attention to our dreams and our subconscious like the things that are there that are coming up that are not in our consciousness but they are in our unconscious um, aspect so what we aren't always seeing so pay pay attention to your dreams like I will say like what's is that I have been noticing that my dreams have been coming through more vivid just the past couple nights and um, and uh, this month I have noticed that my, that I am feeling more and more balanced within like my yin and yang energies as well. So if you, you know, are tuned in, if you're on the journey and paying attention, then you will be able to see how that, um, you know, how that is playing out for you, how your body is responding, how your mind is responding, what is it that you are thinking about, what is it that is bringing, being brought up to be cleared. Um, this full moon is also uh, an eclipse, and so eclipses cut out things that we no longer need, like it speeds up the inevitable, there we go. So, Things that are meant to happen for us or things that are meant to cut out will be cut out. Things that we are meant to step into, we will step into. And uh, yeah, so just pay attention to, like, just pay attention to your body as well because, you know, as we are becoming more balanced within ourselves, that does have an effect on our physical vessel. And so pay attention to, you know, the signs of your own body and what signals, because know that not everything requires you to run to the doctor. But if you feel like you need to go to the doctor, definitely do. But there are some times that our bodies are adjusting to new energies as we are growing and adjusting to becoming different versions of ourselves. So, yeah, so pay attention to what goes on in your life in the next um, maybe like couple weeks because, you know, the eclipse is cutting out things and or speeding up the inevitable. There we go. And uh, so who knows what's 
going to pop up for you here here soon so yeah there's a lot of powerful energies and I'm loving it I'm just like riding the waves <laughs> excuse me <clears throat> my throat um another thing that was in the book for um September was that this full moon is about the throat chakra vishura chakra and so about communicating and opening and speaking our truth and not only that but also listening to the communication we are getting through our dreams so that is our subconscious that is our guides that is coming through to communicate with us and so it's communication in many different ways so yeah all right our affirmation for for today is from the secondary chakra elbows card number 99 check out the healing symbol i accept with gratitude and consi consistency i accept with gratitude and consistency nice so not too long ago i i mean it was probably like a couple weeks ago not last week but the week before 24 robbers came knocking at my door no. <laughs> um no so um yeah, we had the I reject with love and consistency that was talking about how, you know, there are things that we should be releasing and, you know, how we should know that it is our right to say no to certain things that don't resonate with us. So now we're getting I accept with gratitude and consistency. So let's read this. All right. Meaning, when something comes to you, examine whether you truly want and need it. If so, take it and don't be coy about it. Thank those who have given it to you sincerely and from your heart because they have expanded your possibilities with their gift. If you do not take it, you cannot give. If you do not accept, you are simultaneously excluding yourself from the cycle of the life forces. Taking and giving in perpetual flow is the only way in the material world, the dimension of separation, to create unity and maintain the connection with the rest of life. Healing stone, sodalite, iolite, cordurite, fragrance essence, orange, and the box flower is red chestnut. So giving and receiving, <clears throat> excuse me, giving and receiving are a natural part of life. It is like the ebb and flow. It is the up and down. It is the left and right. It is just a natural flow of life. So when you are given something, then you should receive it with gratitude and love and from a genuine place in your heart because not only is it that person that is giving it to you, that is the creative force, that is source presenting you with that gift. And so instead of you saying no and rejecting it, know that if it's something that you want and need, it is you are meant to have it, which is why it is being presented to you. So yeah, that is such a beautiful message. And I know like a lot of times people like to reject gifts. Oh no, I can't. I shouldn't. I couldn't take that. Oh no. But ask yourself why you think you don't deserve a gift. What has been taught to you that you are you feel that you are not worthy to receive that is something that you are meant to change that is something that we are all meant to change we are meant to change that program and realize that we are worth receiving gifts we are worthy of you know getting things getting gifts and you know also giving gifts because that's all part of the flow and so, you know, it, I just had a well pop into my head. Um, and so when we, you know, like when water is taken out of a well, it leaves space for new and fresh water to fill that well up. And the more water that is taken out, the more f that fresh water gets to come into that well. So think of that as well. You know, you are the well that, you know, is just getting some fresh water put into or, you know, it's being replenished with fresh water. So, yeah, know that any gift that you receive, it is the divine representing you with that gift. So, 
All right. Well, this has been another one of our affirmations. And today is the full moon in Pisces. Happy full moon. Um, if I hope you all found something that resonates with you. And if you did, please remember to hit that thumbs up and share this video with anyone who you feel should hear this message today. And if you are subscribed to the channel, I want to say thank you so very much for allowing me to be part of your journey. <laughs> All right. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one.